friend's been talking about doing like a dick puppet series. A dick puppet series? Yeah. For the for the YouTube channel? For OnlyFans, like for OnlyFans? Yeah. Like you can be in on it? Take a blue chew. Like I wanted to do like the that <laughs> oh, naked show, but like I don't want to be flaccid. You know what I mean? Like yeah, let that's me show right you. I let me eat a blue thing. chew in fucking eight minutes. Yeah, I work. <laughs> I work. I work security. Uh, we talked about how I mm-hmm. made me doing security for. I did security for one of the naked shows like a month ago, and um, I get why girls do it. I don't get why guys do it. I'm like, you're not supposed to see us soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, on that note, welcome to the Buff Boys. <laughs> We're back after a week off. Joe yeah. is back in New York. I'm back, dude. And we got an amazing guest from the t- from uh, THC TV on YouTube. Everything Big T. One of my favorite comics in the city. Big T. Tommy Farrell's here. What up, boys? Thanks for having me. What's course, up? Thanks dude. for being here. Nice. I, yeah. I, I saw it. I'm like, is this an intervention? Are the Buff Boys trying yeah. to get me buff? <laughs> <laughs> well, right before we started going on, you were talking about how you're going to go get cookies after this. So. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> we're here to stop you from going to get cookies. <laughs> No, I haven't been to um. It's Levain. You said you're going to. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I haven't been. I've done insomnia because I like when I do cheat. I'm like I'm gonna cheat. Like I don't eat uh, shit like shitty that often. So when I do, I want to go to the ones I know. So trying something that's like bad for me and new is always a risk. Because yeah. then if I don't like it, it's like fuck. I used my opportunity yeah. to cheat and I didn't even like it. <laughs> I did that the other night with. Golden stuff, double stuff Oreos, like just those what, are good. I know, but not for Dunkin'. There's too much real estate to soak up. Yeah, that's true. And it was too dry for me. And I wanted milk and cookies. I wanted some soggy cookies. Yeah, and I was high, and I, I still ate a sleeve and a half. But like, yeah, <laughs> like it just, yeah. again, I wasn't happy doing it. You know, like I wasn't getting that dopamine hit. It was just like, all right, I fucking almost drove like to the business. Store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like um, Chips Deluxe to dip in milk. Nice. I like a lot. Yeah, yeah. And the Chips Ahoy, not the Chewy Chips Ahoy, but the regular Chips oh, Ahoy classic. are good. Oh, <laughs> classic. Chewy Chips Ahoy are good, but if you're digging chewy, dunking two, Chewy Chips Ahoy in milk, it's like a hat on a hat. Yeah. <laughs> like. I remember when I was younger, like, we used to do double, and then like it was like triple. Like, yeah. You know, we were like bragging to my dad, like, Dad, we did four today. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got four dunks on one cookie? That's impressive. That's I can not do, bad. I can only do three at most usually. <laughs> one of my stupidest moves ever, I had a lifetime of stupid moves. Like, I remember probably like 10. I ate a bunch of Oreos before going to the dentist. Like, there's no <laughs> coming back from that. Yeah. Brushing, floor, this, nothing. Right. You're going to have black shit in your teeth as you're yeah. going for a cleaning. Like, Yeah, that's a bad <laughs> But, move. like, it's like you got to make that dentist earn his keep, you know? <laughs> yeah, so if you're going like, to go in yeah. for a clean, give him something to clean. Yeah, uh, how good of a dentist are you? Yeah. You know, it's like... Uh, it's like when you have to you floss before going to the dentist. That's like tidying up your house before like the professional clean cleaners comes. comes yeah, by. yeah. Well, I I did an experiment because I always thought they lied to you. Like, like who the fucking you floss like two weeks? You know, like then yeah, you, stop. you floss for mm. you're like I gotta start flossing. Two yeah. weeks later, it's like oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, all oh, the toothpaste. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a water pick. I've been getting a lot of stu- stuff stuck in my teeth. Yeah, yeah. good. I did it to my next visit. And they congrat like, hey, good job doing it. So they did notice. It's not propaganda by the dentist yeah. of just pushing the floss in. Like, I did it for six months with the water. Uh, I still do it. It's, I'm addicted now. You like yeah. the water pick? Oh, uh, big time. High pressure. Yeah. Stuff's coming out. Like, that was like two days ago. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, where'd that come from? I didn't even feel that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm the, in. the dentist, man, like, what am I... F- Child, I should go to therapy for it. Like me and my brother, we you got were raped by your dentist. Yeah, I actually had sex in the in the waiting room, but with, me, with, with, with uh, your dentist. No, no, yeah, no. You were yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a, with a dental hygienist. <laughs> Why are they always hot? It was just a weird. That's the, I don't get it. Dental uh, hygienists are always hot. It's like it's like uh, people want to go to the dentist otherwise. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. Jo- there's some jobs where it's like, you know, you almost get why lifeguards always hot because they got to be in shape to swim. It's like, there's no reason for every dental hygienist to be hot, but they are. It's like, you can, you don't have to use gloves. Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew me. Yeah. <laughs> come you just, here. You just hooked up Twice with a, a year. <laughs> you just hooked up with a girl in the waiting room of a dentist office? No, it was my girl. It was around the Simpsons. It, it's like, it's still on Flatbush, like, by the junction. Like, it's like an L shaped building. So, like, the. The, the room was weird. Yeah. The, and the office, there was a fake wall, and it was just, I, she was sitting on the windowsill. The Simpsons, Marge, and Homer were funk, fucking in public, so that was in my head. This is going back a long okay, time. Yeah. Like <laughs> early 2000s. Yeah. She had Terry Claw's pants on. I got hard. I pulled them over, and I came probably like 40 seconds, probably yeah, five yeah, seconds. Dude, it was so yeah. warm, so hot. And 
I always pass by that when I'm driving a flatbush and I look at it, I'm like, that's sex by the window. Nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but this is after me and my brother, we thought we were the bushwhackers and would just kick the shit out of each other as my mom's getting her work done as kids. Yeah. And then she would lock me out of the car on No Street Have You and Flatbush in the <laughs> 80s. And like, I'm crying. And the streets are fucking, there's like extra bubblegum on the streets. It's, mm-hmm. it's downtown. It's like over there in, in the 80s. It was wild. And she's like leaving me. I'm like crying. Like, you know punish you guys by leaving you outside? Yeah, locking. <laughs> I remember her locking the doors, and I'm like, yo, she's really going to leave me at the junction. And I'm like, was crying, Bob, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, That's <laughs> just from me and my brother just kicking the shit out of each other. And How like, many siblings do you have? Uh, three. Damn. Three. Oh, no, no, two. Two. There's three oh, of us. damn. Three of us. All brothers? <laughs> no, I have a younger sister, Younger too. sister. But and she came later on. And older brother or younger brother? Younger. Younger brother. Oh, yeah. you're the oh, oldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah, man, just we always just would kick the shit out of each other. Yeah, we and went. born and raised in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I love native New Yorkers in comedy. I'm, I'm <laughs> just, the more I like meet people that are like, I'm like, they're from New York. I'm like, there is just an immediate bond of like, oh yeah, we can like fuck around and it's fine. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I. Uh, but yeah, how would speaking of where uh, you're not a native New Yorker, but you love New York and you I were do. away. I was. You were, uh, you were on for, tour. I went away for a few days. I did a Ron Heron uh, string of shows yeah. out throughout the uh, Midwest. All, all the finest breweries in the country. Yeah, man. We, we landed in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, so we did some shows out there. We did, uh, what is it, uh, Barrel Comedy. Um, yeah, like all kinds of fucking fun stuff yeah, up there. Yeah, how was it? It was good. Like the audiences were all right. You know, I think it was them getting used to seeing like a live performance. Yeah, but how was it being in Minnesota and Wisconsin in, the, in February? <laughs> it actually wasn't bad. It was like a little bit of um, a little bit of a, a warmer front. Mm. So when we were there, it was like you know forty, fifty degrees, but yeah. it only snowed one day, and it was only a light flurry, so it wasn't like gotcha. you know the roads were getting dangerous or anything. Okay, a lot of driving. So big shout out to Kelly Taylor she did all for the doing a majority of the driving. Yeah, dude, yeah. like. You know, I was like, do you want me to drive? And she was like, no, I'm all right. We were both uh, able to. There was like a mix up with the rental car. So we had to rent a car there. Ah, uh, okay. But because we used my credit card, like I was just the one on file anyway. Yeah. So we added Kelly to be a driver. Uh, yeah. It was good, man. Like, you know, those shows, like as, as I let you know in the text messaging, like it can be like rough. Yeah. And it can kind of be like during the day, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? You yeah. Know? I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing to do. It's not like, you know, you're in like a a city like San Antonio or something where like you can go, go around Alamo. doing yeah, go around during the day. <laughs> the river walk. The river walk. I did yeah. I was in San Antonio a couple of years ago and I uh, I was there for a friend's wedding and um and I just happened I like got there a day or cuz I did a friend's wedding in Colorado and like just came and then like left the day after. And like my friend stayed and did more. So then when I went to San Antonio, I was like, I'm going to do this one right. Went like it got there a day early. Um, so I was able to like get up and do stand up and then stayed a day later. But that wedding, everyone left. So I was just there by myself for a day. But I still just did stuff because I just I went to I went to the Alamo. I went to like the uh, the mission. Like There's a whole bunch of like cool stuff to do. Yeah. I went to a Spurs game. I watched Carl Anthony Towns drop 60. Was that, that it was, was against the game? T- it was Timberwolves Spurs in San Antonio. Did they lose that game? <laughs> um, the Spurs lost, yeah. Uh, there's moral victories, though. <laughs> <big team. Yeah. laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah. the um, Wisconsin-Minnesota, I'm not really sure what there is even mm. to do there. No, not a whole lot. Like, just kind of hang out. Uh, the last show, it was way out in the boonies of Wisconsin. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it, it was at the brewery we were at, it was like it was fine. It was like a small little like town, yeah. Which actually had like a really good turnout. Uh, but one of the next door neighbors of the bar had a Confederate flag hanging in their oh, front. Oh, nice! <laughs> so of course, like, in, Kelly, like Minnesota. Yeah, Kelly was like a little <laughs> the freaked great out. Confederate state of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, and like my first thought was like that movie Green Room. I don't know if you ever saw that. Which one? Uh, Green, Green Room, where it was like these punk rockers or. Uh, performing at a bar, and it turns out they're at, it's a white supremacist bar, and they witness a hate crime. Oh, I haven't and then seen like that. they're running for their lives. It has a uh, that one German or uh, that one Russian guy who died a few years ago. He played Scotty in uh, uh, Naval- Star Trek. Navalny. Uh, yeah, the something Russian like guy who died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anton uh, <laughs> Anton Dvorak or something okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. yeah, but it was fine. Everyone was fucking chill. 
It was it was a good it's a good little like bonding with me and Kelly. Yeah, you know? that sounds like it was at least that part of the trip. Was yeah, because like it's like if it were like anyone else, I would have been like, yo, this is a huge fucking waste of time. But it was like time with Kelly. Yeah. So who can who can be yeah. against? Are that? you a big traveler? I would love to just watch vlogs of you traveling. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I just we got but we got I got the dog now. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's an older dog. We took it over. But it's. Yeah. Uh, it's you know you have to get dog friendly hotels, which there are a lot of them out there now. But like, yeah, you know, if I wanted to go to Europe or or even just road gigs for comedy, yeah, that too. Yeah, like uh, honestly, you're just I just love you so much. I want to see you do videos of everything you do in life, <laughs> whether you're traveling or whatever. Yeah, like the last time we took Finney with us, Kelly and I were uh, doing a show at uh, Baltimore. Yeah. Um. So we were, you know, we were going out there, um, and you know, we we got him a train ticket, which was fine, but then you know. Think it was getting like a little rowdy on the train ride back because it had been so long. Yeah. So he kept trying to get out of the bag. He saw stuff. a few too many. Yeah. Blacks. He was, yeah, exactly. In ba- he was in Baltimore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> West Baltimore. <laughs> Finnegan went to Baltimore. Yeah. <laughs> freaked out. But he was perfectly well behaved in the uh, hotel room. Yeah. Which was like good. You know, we were worried like, oh, I hope he doesn't get like upset and everything like while we're gone. But yeah. it was good. It was like a little bit, you know, it ended up we probably cost about as much as it would have to have like somebody come by and dog sit him for like the day gotcha. but yeah it was fun man you know it was uh eh, it, it's good to get out doing the yeah. road yeah doing the road with the family yeah in that sense yeah Best. how uh, how long have you had the dog you just got a dog uh, it was my girl's dad's dog he got sick okay I think it's been almost close to two years now. Your girl's dad got sick. Yeah, and then we had to and take then it you over. took over the dog. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. I didn't, you know, like it's. I don't even like. I always say I don't wipe myself. Like I don't want to pick up the shit. Like, the and like dog? if it's you raining wanna, out yeah. or it's super cold, no one wants to be out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, have you had pets before? No, for that reason. Yeah, like, because you don't want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want. You don't want to have the responsibility. No, you don't no, no. You want to take care of another thing. <clears throat> and, you already got a girl. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got my own. You like, got shit, stuff. dude. You yeah, got you got shit on. to do. It's like, and then, it's like, there's, it's a little bit of hypocrisy of like, cause it's never a hundred percent, the shit's off the ground. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you did a decent job. You did a, you know what I mean? Like, what if it's wet? Oh yeah, what do you want me to do? I know that's what I'm saying. Like, like you cleaned up most of the shit, but there's still a stain. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's a flawed system. You know, yeah. but piss is okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. get out of here. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and like I know you were saying like you would love to see me on the road like I just I was just I'm torn with like my one friend owns a pizzeria so like you can't even take any other pictures of food in the group text now people will fuck like he gets yeah, mad yeah. and I got this is I have a trainer and now he you, started uh, following me on yeah, Instagram you've been doing you were doing like the cooking show or like eat, but if you yeah. post if you post like things you eat elsewhere your friend who owns a pizzeria gets yeah. mad at you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't eat anywhere <laughs> except my pizzeria yeah. <laughs> I, so I, ma- I made homemade pizza and he, I got a, a cold cold shoulder in the group text <laughs> like it's yeah, like it's, it's a Reuben pizza it's nothing near close to what you make yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and now my trainer follows me uh, on Instagram, you, you, so like, yeah. I'm, I can't post food because then he's gonna have me on the row machine out of spite, and I hate. Gotcha. Them. You know oh, I mean? but like, you, you got it. You're doing like a personal trainer gym I, and this everything. Is two years of a personal trainer. <laughs> nice, dude. He's like, I don't. He, it was I think a stressful he, I think, two years. Well, I gotta say, whether you're posting what you're eating on Instagram, and I think he has a feeling <laughs> that you're not staying on a strict diet. No, I, when when I, when I was heavy into the edibles, like bad. Like, yeah. Yeah. I would walk in and I'm like cockeyed and now the sunlight's hitting me and like there's chocolate <laughs> that's like you know like dried sugar looks like cum you know what yeah. I mean it's like fuck I'm, I, 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 he's gonna see this on my shirt I thought it was just like, I thought it was <laughs> part of the color of the shirt it's chocolate he's gonna see like there's no hiding stains on your shirt yeah you know what I mean like but I'm work a work in progress man nice, I'm man. strong behind this yeah you know? what's your like training routine what do you All see how you doing stuff. from yeah. yoga to boxing he used to do like Muay Thai like. Okay. You know, oh, you're doing like damn. martial arts training too? Yeah, like just so, uh, the speed bag, the row yeah. machine, deadlifts, kettlebell, uh, a lot of breathing stuff. Nice. We'd go swimming in the ocean in the winter, like. Nice, because you live right. You live yeah. in uh, Rockaway, right? Yeah, by like the beach. a beautiful night like this, like it's a nice night for. Uh, what, February, York, for February. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if the water, there's no wind, you go you work on breathing. Like exercise is just different. Well, I know I'm probably going to lose people. Like, yeah, all right. No, this is the buff boys. <laughs> this is what we're talking. This is what we're here for. You know, just exercise, just different 
levels of breathing. You know, like yeah. weight weightlifting's different, running. Like you have to need a different cadences of breathing. Yeah. You know, yep. like he taught me a bunch of like that, and it's just fun. It's 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 like therapy for me. We go bullshit. You know, like, yeah. He's like my confidant a little bit. You know? Nice. Yeah. No, same thing. I mean, for me, working out is always like if I like if any times in my life where I'm not working out, I feel like mentally I'm just not as there. Yeah, I was yeah. going to the Y. Just too much. Bare rectum and nuts sack <laughs> on like yeah I could brush my yeah. teeth here yeah. like when I get out of the shower like if, if Joe could with his nuts and balls it's his place yeah, yeah. but he has people coming over like you know what I mean like you have to have yeah. some sort of respect for society yeah. and like I, I, now I can't sit on the bench like your your bare rectum and balls like give like me an the, uh, yeah uh, then Even, like people yeah. coming up to me like I'm trying to do one pull up that's my goal and the guy's like oh, how long you been doing this like yeah you're real inspiration like like I'm a fat person inspiring yeah, yeah. people yeah. by sweating trying to do a pull up like uh, the worst thing happened to me a cu- like a week or so ago in the gym one of the guys who works at the gym who I just like have friendly banter with just cause we see each other all the time was like he's like uh, like a big fat guy and he uh, <laughs> saw me on one of the on like the treadmill so he just took he talks a lot so he just took the opportunity to come and like post up next to me and start talking to me uh-huh. while I was doing I'm like fuck I'm on the treadmill so I can't just like leave yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh-huh. um, and he's like um, it's good you're doing so it's good to mix in some cardio because you're like a big guy like me and I'm like oh I gotta do a lot more cardio <laughs> if you think I'm like you <laughs> I get he's probably trying to feel better about himself, but also I'm kind of, I didn't want to say it. I wanted to be like, I, me and you do not have the same body type. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. That uh, So are you, um, I guess, is it just that you're lifting, doing all the stuff you're supposed to do, and then you still just eat like shit? No. And I'm like, have you been I'm eating like, healthy there's, too? There's, I, I eat two meals a day. I'm eating more nice. fruit. Because I, I got the gout and fatty liver just from eating. Oh, this, yeah. After I stopped drinking. Yeah. So you don't like, drink at all? No, not at all. Okay. And uh, because the alcohol would break down the fatty liver. Oh no, no just I when I was drinking, I was doing so much coke, I was oh, bouncing yeah. around that the gout and fatty liver wanted nothing yeah. to do with me. Now from the edibles and then eating the fucking Joe's pizza, then the cookie, yeah. you know, like I and I went after a weed show, high as shit, like my stomach making noises from like driving like Cherry Valley to get heroes at like two in the morning. You Cherry know I mean? Valley? Like yeah. out in Queens? Yeah, like it was White an hour, Sto- it was an hour out of the way on the way to Far say, Rockaway. That, that's near where I grew up. What <laughs> yeah. are you going to, doing going all the way to Cherry Valley? You got the beast But that, the is, that was the spot <laughs> out in, because I grew up in Bayside. That was the like yeah. past midnight drinking, yeah. want to get something to eat. There's like a 24-hour deli in Whitestone, yeah. Cherry it's, Valley. It's the best. <laughs> and I remember I had a bunch of that and my stomach's rumbling and I was going for a physical and like, the liver things were all messed up. And yeah. I told him I eat a lot of edibles. <laughs> you could probably tell. Yeah. So yeah. I jumped on the table and like the curtain ripped down. It was like sitting under my <laughs> fat head. Like from the 50s. It was like nostalgic yeah. old curtain in this old doctor's office. And when I told my girl that I, I'm, even though I ate edibles this past like week, like yeah. I was eating them every day at like yeah. two o'clock. Just like, let's go. And uh, then it's just thousands of calories and hundreds more milligrams just to keep it yeah. going yeah and uh when i told him i was her like i'm done with the edibles the look on her face was telling like thank god like yeah i stopped the coke i stopped the booze i stopped everything else but now i'm abusing the other thing i love which is yeah. really knocking you know you eat enough edibles yeah. like you're better off doing coke and drinking you this think point, so you know, i never did i do them like, i do shit, you know? yeah i do them like here and there my thing was i had a pack of like delta eight edibles because i was in south carolina last summer and that's all that's legal there so I had a bunch of those. Those are like, in order to like take enough to get the high I need, it's going to like the hangover lasts like two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those next two days of just completely being lethargic doesn't feel like worth what the high was. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> but damn, that's, were you always like growing up, were you always a big guy? Yeah. 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 Okay. And I got, listen, I got. Size 14 sneakers. There you go. I got a yeah. huge size 8 head fitted. Damn, so if I nice. lost weight, I'd look like a fucking lollipop. I'd look yeah. stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine me well, stupid. I think, no, I think I think what would I, well because you worked out, I think you would you would just be like you know when like offensive linemen lose weight and they have like a jacked body under. The, I think yeah. you would be like jacked. If yeah. you or lost like weight. Ethan yeah. Slurpee. Remember when he lost all the weight and he became jacked? Yeah. That fat yeah. guy from My Name Is Earl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's um, well, because you're like, I feel like, uh, I feel like you're one of those like 
fat guys who is if you like played any sport, you would be surprisingly athletic. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I play basketball. I haven't played in a little while. Just I used to play baseball, football. They always wanted me to play. I was oh, you look like you fucking like wreck it at softball. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. So well, I was usually you so, like, so you, wrecked oh. that I was oh, still up. Uh, I nice. ate acid by accident before yeah. a game. The one game the coach puts me in. You know what yeah. I mean? Nice. You look. Yeah. I, I ran. I did this like first play, and I was fucked up. You know what I mean? I was yeah. day drinking out of ball. Like, yo, we have a game tonight, and I was like, usually I'm just on the sidelines cheering, like just yeah. I'm here to have fun, you know? Yeah. And they stopped me short center first play. Crack of the bat, I see it. I run up, I do this weird jump, and it was like 50 feet over my head. <laughs> and by, the, by that time, <laughs> yeah, and by that, and I thought I almost had it. By that time, my coach yeah. was like, heard that I'm on acid, and yeah. took me out of the How game. Old were you? Boo. How old ago was this? Uh, I was probably 2000. I don't know. What, this was two, like in tw- high I was 27. Or? Oh, 27. 27, 20, 30, say, well, yeah. maybe. I don't even know. Mm. I was fucked up. I was gonna, no, because <laughs> you said your coach, and I'm like, there were coaches for like my friend's league. dad just. Loved hanging out drinking, so we, oh, we yeah. just gave him the co- yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's not like a real coach. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Did you play sports like growing up? Yeah, Where traveling you- baseball, football, Damn. basketball. Always in the park playing basketball. I love basketball is my favorite. Street yeah. basketball. Yeah, going to the park. Street hoops. Yeah, yep. yeah. You ever do those trick shots? Of course. Hell yeah. I'll What's the trickiest my- shot? What's the trickiest <laughs> shot? And how much of a how much of the black guy's mind did it blow when you landed <laughs> it? Because that's how you know it's a good shot, is if like a black guy like freaks out when you make it. Well, it, the, the trick shots I was talking about was like after the balls closed, like we're all jacked up. We got fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. 36 packs. Like from the, we take them to go from yeah, the yeah. ball. And we go to the uh, basketball courts, $20 a guy. Throw, and, like, you have like 10 guys, that's $200 a pot. Sitting there just throwing balls to half court and uh, someone hits one. Like that's whoever makes it first gets the pot. Till the sun comes up. All right, I'm going again. Twenty a man. Yeah, now there's twenty yeah. of us now. Four hundred dollars is the first yeah. person it's and we're just chucking the fucking ball. It's the best. Yeah. That really is like the Queen's version of like when people in the South like shoot bottles with guns. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the Queen's version of that is just fucking around in a basketball court. <laughs> Whose jacket is that? Oh, uh, that's my sweatshirt. Finnegan, it's Finnegan's now. It's Finnegan. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Keep it away from the cat. And looks fine. better on her. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, him, him. Him. <laughs> Don't misgender yeah, Joe's yeah, yeah, dog yeah, here, I, Big I, T. I got in trouble for that recently. For misgendering someone? Or? Yeah, I, I make the edibles, stuff like that. And you, were, you, were, you were on edibles? And you <laughs> no, no, I was making deliveries. Oh, and, you were delivering and the like, edibles? It'll be like, oh, I'm Matt's friend, Joe's Finnegan. Mm. And I have that in my phone. Yeah, I don't even meet the people. I put it in their mailbox. They yeah. sell me. I don't even know who these people are. Yeah, and I, I hit. Oh, thank you, brother. Enjoy. You know, I always like yeah. to keep it nice. Just, yeah, you know, there's the little things. And I said it, and the person's transitioning. And I'm like, I'm oh. like, uh, I'm like, I just put it in your mailbox, which is your new yeah. pussy's gonna be called. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nice, <laughs> <yeah>. box. <laughs> Yeah, no problem then when I was touching your mailbox. Hell now yeah. now nice I say, thank dude. you, brother, and joy. I'm like, yeah. all right, I, now I got to remember not to do it because I'm programmed into doing it for decades of just being yeah. thankful that you fucking chose me. And like, I always just throw the brother in. I stole it from the Arabs from the yeah, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, dude. Thank you, brother. <laughs> yeah, we I stole la, it la, la, from la. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I feel, I feel like you're like the kind of guy that I'd have to like, if I'm like, some like young like Gen Z kid now. I feel like if I was introducing them, I'm like, trust me, Big T's a good guy. Don't expect him to get your gender right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, bro. It goes back to when I was a kid. I remember like Miss O'Connor, and she was like, no, no, it's Mrs. I'm married or this. I'm like, you think I give a fuck? Like, yeah. it's not even like yeah. blue head people. It's fucking like. I remember this when a teacher. teacher got, trying to I remember make me do it. Like, a you teacher. Think I, care? I remember a teacher getting <laughs> married midway through the year and trying to get us to call her a different last name. Yeah, we man, like, something no. like that. I'm like, yeah. what? doesn't like, happen, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you made us do it over and over again on the paper. Let's do penmanship or whatever. Yeah, you want me to yeah. change it? Everything. Sorry, you're Miss Kronberg forever. <laughs> yeah. None of this Oshkosh whatever. <laughs> do you ever uh, do you ever Google various teachers you didn't like to see if they're dead? Oh, I haven't ever Googled my teachers. I should I'll do, do that, that every once in a while. I'll type yeah. in their name in obituary. Yeah. See if it comes up. <laughs> I'm like, come I'm on, sure. bitch, die already. Yeah. <laughs> fucking fucking twat trying to teach me about science, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid bitch. Do you have any teachers you didn't like growing up? <sighs> yeah, I was trying to remember like like what Joe was saying, because I think I saw a teacher, Miss Diamond. She she, nice. was, I, she was cool with me. It wasn't one of my bad nice teachers. Body. Uh decent. Ooh, decent. Yeah. Big you have any team. hot you have any hot teachers? Yeah. That, what, my third grade 
this third. She had like this reddish hair. I don't remember her name. Wait, you say third grade? Yeah. And you then knew in third grade. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't this, <laughs> this other lady, Miss Shannon. I found out where she worked in Rockaway in the summer at this place, Kennedy's. This beautiful restaurant in the water. I would run yeah. my bike there, and she would give me cherry cokes, and I would just sit there staring at her. It was nice. the weirdest shit. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, the teachers I had, like, in hindsight in elementary school, there were probably a couple that were attractive, but I was too young. So it's like the ones that were hot when I was, like, 16, those are the ones I remember. Miss Luna, the Spanish teacher, never forget her. Muy <laughs> caliente, dude. Oh, yeah? I uh, I had, um, I, I just, I have this small time of when my school life was good when I lived in Marie and Paul. You know yeah. what I mean? Then when we moved yeah. to Rockaway. It was World War Three. It was the opening scene to lean on me. Like, you think it's because of all the public. all the Russian people? No, no, that was that was later on yeah. when I went to Lincoln High School. Yeah. <laughs> that was later in high school. This is when we moved from Brooklyn to Rockaway. It was the opening scene of Lean on Me. There was like six white kids, and it was just project wars between Ocean Village and Hamels, and yeah. it was just Yikes. getting robbed, getting just punched in the face for, for being white, turning the corner in the staircase. Like Matt, just, what, would, what would you do if you were surrounded by black people like that? <laughs> well, Big T was real careful not to say that. He said the projects. Yeah. <laughs> but we know what he was He was being a little coded that. with it. <laughs> No, well, that's what was going on. I remember they were just huge fights, and then once in a while, we would just get punched for no reason. You yeah, know that's I mean? scary, like, dude. Black people can really fucking swing, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, they invented the knockout game. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a fucking sinister race, dude, where it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like a game. It's like, okay, cool, what's the game? Do it, is it on Xbox, PlayStation? Oh, no, no, no. no. We, we run around in a dangerous pack. <laughs> looking looking for innocent, innocent white people to fucking hit as hard as we can. And the winner knocks them out and hopefully kills them. And then they laugh. They laugh about it. And they, 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 they do their fucking tribal dance or whatever. <laughs> it's fucking it's scary. I'm starting though. to see why Joe liked uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin in February <laughs> so much. Oh, uh, one of uh one of the audience members had like a uh, thin blue line t shirt. Nice. <laughs> so I was like, note to self, X nay on the Illing Cops K. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, <sighs> I'm trying to th- uh, were you like uh, were you like class clown oh, growing yeah, up? Yeah. 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 Ooh, were you voted class clown? I don't, there was no vote. Yeah, oh, I didn't. Damn. I don't I remember. Was, I, I don't remember. I was having voted. Like the, I was voted you? class clown. Yeah. I was voted class clown. I was voted handsomest. I was voted most <laughs> muscular. I was voted funniest. <laughs> <laughs> I was voted cool. Hey Joe, hands out all these pamphlets that everyone needs to vote on. Matt, and you just stood in your room <laughs> Matt, doing them yourself. <laughs> Matt was voted most chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, did you have teachers that like didn't like you? Yeah, yeah. I've got listen because nice. then after that school, yeah, my parents were like you're not going to the high school across the street. Cause I was suspended. I I spent most of my time watching Barry Bonds and McGuire for the home run record. Oh <laughs> yeah, like I, I was like three, like a third you of the were month. in high school in during I was, that. Ra- yeah, I was, but I was suspended and I was just watching that with my dad. My dad was always hurt from work. You know what I mean? Like, what did your dad do for work? Construction, work his uh, okay. Oh yeah. hell yeah! <laughs> Apple doesn't fall, fall from the tree. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. You, you you just getting suspended so you could watch McGuire so oh, so. Well, <laughs> it just that was the that from that was like the gravy. I wasn't. Yeah, I was fighting for my life. I'm in serious. school. Yeah. yeah, like it was it was wild, and my parents like you're not going across the street. You're never gonna graduate you know you yeah. got that was when <laughs> dropping out of high school was not a thing you know what i mean like there's, yeah there's some young kids like yeah i just stopped going to school like no the, that was the least you yeah. had to get was a high school yeah. diploma. you know what i mean like yeah. whatever happened to that that's when this world started going to shit yeah. you know what i mean when people <laughs> just like nah, i ain't going to high school like bro yeah. like you need that you can't even join the army <laughs> we don't you don't want to join the army dude if you want to <laughs> Why wanna, do you want to join if the you army? Wanna fuck it, you can't even join it. You got to do this awful thing. You do this other awful thing. If you're going to kill somebody, kill somebody. Don't do it because your government tells you to do it. No, do it right. because you have hate in your heart. Yeah. Or and you want to fucking, money. or you want to free Palestine. Whichever of those two reasons. <laughs> those are the only reasons, dude. The only reasons to kill someone. We do we do like to smuggle in our, or sneak in our little free Palestine. Yeah. Yes, the only quit. reasons to kill someone are if you want to free Palestine or if all the bullies in your school are too. Mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt Matt went to Israel and actually radicalized him for Hamas. He I was went, like he was like there's yeah. a big problem here with all these Jews. Yeah, I went they to Israel, I met all the Jews, I uh got drunk and barely paid attention the whole time and came out like Hamas is cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. From the from the mountains to the sea. Yeah. Did you end up getting a high school diploma? 
Yeah, graduated yep. a half a year early. Ooh, oh, super smart. You went from being suspended every day to <laughs> no, half a day. No, no, <laughs> it, it got bad, but I, I finagled the system. A little. How'd you do that? Well, they wouldn't let me go to the public school across the way, so I, I took the co-ops, which is the Catholic school, okay, to get into Catholic school. Yeah, and all my friends were in Catholic school. I was, like, yeah. It was me and my one other friend that weren't. Mm. So I did good on yeah, the test. You blew, you blew some of the teachers. <laughs> no, well, that, well, that's funny you say that because I did. I chose the cheapest one, Cathedral Prep. It's, yeah. a, it's a school to become a priest. <laughs> nice, so I got you went to, you I went got, to school to become a priest. I got stabbed in the head. Oh, but oh shit! It became an assist, assist, whatever it's called. Was and that in Catholic in the, in school? The, no, in in the other junior, in uh, 180 in Rockaway. That fucking lean on me school. Okay, and fucking By one I, of the white kids, I assume, right? No, this girl. She's like, <laughs> she was calling me this like cracker ass cracker, all the classics. Wait, a girl stabbed you? Yeah, and I, I was <laughs> like, you got stabbed by a <laughs> girl. Yeah. No, but I remember in the Earth Science book that there was these heat lamps. So I went to the page and they were heating beef patties. Like, I look at your mom cooking dinner. <laughs> And she took the pencil and started stabbing. <laughs> a girl standing with a pencil for so, your mama joke? Yeah, that was a good one. That's with the, the, with the lead with, yeah. the, with the prop. It was a good one. It was a good one. <laughs> so now I got the interview for this cathedral. I got the bandage around my head like a like a when Bugs Bunny hit you with the mouth. Yeah. Like, like a clown. <laughs> So the guy's like, and you're the, like, so I decided I want to become a priest. Well, the priest asked me what happened in my head, and I explained it like I just said it to you, not yeah. holding back. Because at that point, I didn't give a fuck. My, I was getting punched yeah. all the time. Well, the priesthood care. is about being honest. No, he goes, he goes, they're gonna kill you. You want to become a priest? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was, <laughs> he was painting this picture of like, yeah, like just not getting hit, you know? <laughs> like, and I went, and they had me wear like. A suit, ta- a suit jacket. Like yeah. I went from this <laughs> to yeah. that with the bandage on your yeah. head. <laughs> and like it was, I, I filled every subject right away because they had me in Latin and gymnastics gym. Yikes. Like what world are we in? <laughs> you know, gymnastics. I, if I had to pick the two subjects in school, I think you would be most likely to fail. <laughs> Latin shit. and gymnastics, bro. I, the only thing I remember was auxiliary. Like you know what I mean? Like, auxiliary. I, I don't know that. What's auxiliary? I don't even know. I just remember that word. <laughs> <laughs> but it lasted like a, a month or two because I was in the Catholic school. It was yeah. it was like a reality show. Like think yeah. this animal who's just getting stabbed and punched every yeah. other day and make him become a priest. Like what is who, what 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 comedy be, from the eighties yeah. is this? You, be, like, like, you became like Rodney Dangerfield's the dean. Like what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> you became like what all the other what all the like kids from the projects were in the other school. You just became that in the Catholic school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's how I was. I became the issue. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like, I was punching the kid. <laughs> I'm public school and angry. I was young. You get fucking yeah. pubic hair and sperm and a yeah. lot of shit. And you're like, I was getting in trouble at home for being a fucking animal. You know what I mean? Like, it's, what, what was what was like happening just at home? Get, I would have, you have to get fucking hit yeah, or reprimanded. Like, I was out of control. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know therapists would be like, oh, he's blaming himself. But, like, I was bad. I was yeah. a bad kid. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and it didn't last long. And then I went to Lincoln, which the Europeans entered the picture. And, like, their bone structure, fighting them, yeah. plus the black kids now. Like, yeah. it's like a stronger, like, it hurt when you hit them. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like I was not in fighting. Well, oh, your... these are like the Russia, the yeah, Slavic. The Russia, oh yeah, right there. you know. So those Slavs got hard heads. So now I'm fighting kids from Coney Island projects and the Russian kids. Nah, it's still yeah. going on. Like, just uh, they, it didn't last long because I so many fights and the teachers. Once they knew my mom worked there, but my mom was a para. Yeah. You know, and they're like, "Oh, your mom works here." Like, the kids treat you different. Like she's a teacher. You get spe- like she's a para. She she makes less than you, and you're a kid yeah. teaching. You know, going yeah, to school. Yeah, yeah. Help you get away with anything though with your mom. No, they're school. like, "Oh, Mr. Farrow, we're gonna tell your mom." Like Miss, this lady, Miss Green. Like yeah. then they say, "Oh, you can't fight in class." Like where am I gonna fight then? You know what I mean? Like it's happening <laughs> now. Fight. I'm oh, gonna but, be fighting. Oh, but the oak tree by three o'clock. Yeah, right? Yeah. That what you <laughs> think this is a fairy tale? Like yeah. this is life, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so then. I, I couldn't take it no more, and I, I uh, t- beat the piss out of this kid in the staircase. Oh hell yeah! yeah. You know, was like, he black? I, I was in Spanish. Nice. I would dude. go to my mom's office. This was like, and I would just say, "Oh, the teachers aren't there," and just sit there and just fucking. They sold pretzels in the hallway from like those good Philadelphia pretzels, can of Pepsi, oh, yeah. and read the post front to back mm-hmm. instead of fucking history or whatever. There's other, sh- even though I like history, like math or whatever yeah, else. Yeah, like, yeah, 
you know what I mean? Like I would, oh yeah, the teacher's out again. And when I did go to class, I had these loose skin tangerines. I was peeling it, threw it on the floor. It almost hit this kid, and he's like, yeah, it gets up. You f and I'm in a, I'm a junior in freshman Spanish at this point. You know what I mean? Like, and he's like, fat this, fat that, the classics. And Miss Green, like, Mister Mr. Farrow, please don't fight here. We took, you said it. You weren't gonna fight in class. I said, oh, I gotcha, gotcha. They're you. calling you fat while you're eating fruit. You're yeah. clearly trying to better yourself. Yeah, I know, whatever. So I knew it was, it was, it was last period on Friday, and I knew the bell system, you know? Yeah. So the fucking bell rang, my bag was packed. I go up, I grab his bag. He goes, get my bag back. I go, come on. I go, get my bag back. And now he's, I hear it in his voice. He knows he fucked up. Yeah. We go to the back staircase because it's the Spanish. It's like they hired us with the special ed kids. Yeah. And he goes, get my bag back. And this is around like the Bronx tale. I go, now you can't leave. I throw the bag down. I punch him. And I kick him down a flight of stairs. Nice. And I ran yeah. out of there. It fucking come in Monday, he tore ligaments. Principal suspension. All the deans, the principals, nice leather chairs. Yeah. All my mom's peers. And like... They take the fucking cut sheet because I never went to class. Yeah. My mom's hysterical crying. I'm like, I can't do this to her. So I had to go to that school that I wasn't supposed to go to in Rockaway Beach Channel, which is fucking... Which one was that? Right across from the junior high school, which okay. is everyone that went there goes there now. Yeah. But everyone's cool now. We're smoking weed. You go in second period, you get your attendance, and that's for the whole day. They were selling $3 bags of weed. So you get 10 bags of weed for $30, and nice. there's a couple extra in there. Then you spend a dollar on a 50-cent bagel and two quarter drinks or a quarter drink and three peanut chews. That was the best of the night. Hell a yeah. dollar to get by, and then you can smoke weed all fucking day and not go to class. I got zero credits. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, this, this came to me later in life. When you factor in a zero into an equation, it brings it down a lot. Yeah. So I got zero credits if we're following after the third high school. So whatever I had, there's a fucking, at the end of the Q35, uh, right before you go into the, from Rockaway to Brooklyn, it goes down Flatbush. There's this old post office and an old army base in this room. And this guy, Mr. P, who quoted the Beastie Boys, did jujitsu, and was a born again Christian, through the Board of Ed, some vocational school, got a better, uh, a, a regular diploma, yeah. and we're out of school by 12:30 every day. We're playing basketball right there. It's a beautiful nice. old army base, and it was a racket. He started doing these things called independent studies. I had my first girlfriend meeting me in Reese Park, sucking my dick and doing them for me. Hell and yeah. then like I was playing basketball in the summer league. And I was like, he's like, yo, uh, he call me Helmut because I had a big head. Yeah. And he's like, yo, uh, I didn't get that art independent study. I'm like, I gave it to you. He's like, what, what do you think you got? I'm like, ah, like a 70. Wrote in a book, a whole semester of art. So I, boom, I graduated a half a year early. Yeah. I had my license. Yeah. I started selling regular weed, delivering pizza, and just fucking buying it to listen to Pink Floyd and fucking waiting for my friends to graduate. It was Hell the, yeah. One of the best times of my whole life. <laughs> High school. And, they, and I got out life. of the school early because I was doing these, I was, Independence. This guy was just marketing in a book fucking a yeah. whole semester, and I graduated a half a year early, four high schools. <laughs> so damn. I don't know all the teachers or if I would have fucked. I would have definitely fucked them, the, yeah. the females. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you owe Mr. P something. I do. Shout out to Mr. P. <laughs> and, like, I'm going to do a little, like, it's. I ride my bike by there all the time. It's. I love Fort Hill. Then you have Titty Beach. Like, it's the, you have Reese Park, and then you have Fort Hill. It's just an old army base, and it's... It's my getaway. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I smoke my joints. I smoke my joints everywhere, but like, I go yeah. in there. That's where I stop on my bike, and I'm going to do a little documentary on Last Chance High, Fort Hilden University. Mr. Last P. Chance High. He would get us W-2s with the park police and say we cleaned the yard. It was my first W-2. We didn't do anything. We were done with school by 1230. Everyone's in the school at 2, 3 o'clock. It was such a fucking racket. God damn. I fucking, I'm getting super excited. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, good, please. Usually, usually the it. edibles calm people down. I'm like, yeah. bouncing off the wall. I ate a yeah. couple of you on edible now? Yeah, I needed nice. some. I needed yeah, it was, some. It was just an hour to get here, and just gotcha. <laughs> had me going the wrong way, and I, I lined up deliveries to the other bridge. I was like, I can't yeah. be late for the, the yeah. Buff Boys. I'll see him gotcha. on the way back. You know? Hell yeah! <laughs> Shouldn't be waiting till your last joint, because then nope. you're gonna pour cereal and drink it and use water with it, because you got no milk. You'd be taking a shit when you should have a bidet, and you have no toilet paper left anyway. And now you get down to your last joint. Now I'm gonna save you. You're fucking up everywhere else. This is like the end of the commercial when they give you the side effect. Big T's advice on how to d deal with edibles. Yeah. <laughs> well, Joe, you're a big weed guy, too. Is this all accurate information? It's all, I mean, it's all real, but it seems like <laughs> Big T seems like more of a sativa guy <laughs> than indica. <laughs> like, clearly, right? He's bouncing off the wall. Yeah. The first time I did coke, it was uh, sprinkled on top of a bowl of weed. 
That was yeah. that was how I was like, I'll do try it this way. Yeah. A little woobo. A little woobo, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I was like, all right, this is all right. <laughs> My Surely friend. nothing that can go on top of weed can be bad for you. <laughs> In this weirdest thing, like when people were like, I'm not doing this is before the fentanyl. I haven't done it a, a coke in a while, but it was everywhere. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I have stories for days with the coke. Yeah. My friend, oh, it's it's not good, but we're going to like all these concerts. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. a fun group thing. Buses of Hot girls and friends, yeah. And Kings of Leon, this the my morning jacket. Just I go and it's Pearl Jam, and like fucking my friends were like, oh the Coke's bad, but I'll eat Molly. The Molly's meth. You know it's uh, brown. That's yeah, not yeah, real yeah, Molly. Yeah. That's not ecstasy from the nineties. You know what I mean? In the pill form, I thought that was great. But one night after the show, we're after hours. He was eating it on a white bread sandwich. It reminded me of Breakfast Club when she poured the sugar on the sandwich. The yeah. uh, that old movie. Yeah. And he was eating the Coke off the white bread sandwich and then licking it off a of fucking. Thing. Never did coke in his life, but ate it that night. Like oh. how you said you smoked it the yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah. Like, is uh, eating? Uh, what is eating coke? Nothing. Do, just know? make a crunchy noise through yeah. the white bread. Yeah. The weirdest thing. Yeah, but that's what drugs do. You don't get anything <laughs> from no, it. Do no. you? Yeah, I would. No, <laughs> not like. like yeah, that's the worst way to get it absorbed into your system. <laughs> yeah. This is your coke moment. You after hours after a concert. Pouring it on white bread and eating it. Yeah. Like, no, how about do a blast? I'm like, yo, that fat guy's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> What's your, like, wildest Sorry. Coke story? Uh, so many. You know? so like, <laughs> we, it was just, it was like the 70s and 80s in Rockaway. Like, yeah. it's just a beach town. It's three blocks wide. You a know beach I mean? town with New York City, like, yeah, drug scene in it. It is a dangerous Five minutes from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and just... You know, like you start hanging out with your ex girlfriend's younger sister's friend. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just like that kind of cool vibe, hot smoking hot Irish bitches. Everyone's doing yeah. coke. Like I, I, I said it before. Like I had this one family. Like I would be, always have my shirt off because I'm I'm dripping sweat right now. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. yeah. Imagine all the coke I was doing. I would do forties, one sniff. I would get on my knees, dry my head, pour it on my head. People just I was uh, like starting off your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> I didn't, like I don't call myself Big T. Like people, like my friend came down and was helping me. Like he was having me on shows. This yeah. and he was like, "Why is everyone calling you Big T?" I'm like, oh, "This is what they would call me." Hey, yeah. hey, Big T, let me get a belly bump. Hey, Big T, let me get a blast. Like you're just know? like before <laughs> before the days of like podcasts and everyone or even like. They were just neighborhood legends and funny guys. Yeah. You're like one of those guys. I, I guess yeah. I, I, you, know, you need entertainment at after hours. You yeah. know what I mean? You're gonna be up for three days. You need well, every, something. You're running everyone, out of everyone stuff had to say. like the story of like the guy in their town who was hilarious. Even in comedy, it'll be like, okay, but there was like the guy who we grew up with who was actually the funniest yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're that guy, and it's amazing that you're also in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God if I didn't stop drinking, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like how that's... long have you been doing stand up now? Seven. Seven, seven years. years. It's gonna, in the summer. It's gonna be seven years. And were you uh, um, were you drinking like? Have, was two, there a time where you were doing comedy and drinking, or you stopped and then started mo- comedy? Memorial uh, Memorial Day, day after my friend's wedding, that I won a bunch of money at his bachelor party, so I felt I owed it to him. And this is after to I to get st- sober. No, I owed him oh. one more night of partying. Oh. <laughs> and I was like a little nervous. I'm like, because I was done. I was taking. I once I missed the Super Bowl and like Mets opening day of not drinking, like. I, I said like, uh, okay, I, yeah. I said it before my sober story is weird. It's like I was so in the hole gambling. Yeah. Like I and like I had like smoking hot chicks asking me like, "Yo, please stop drinking." And I would like say to myself like, "What am I gonna do all weekend? Like this is what we do like yeah. every from Friday to Monday to Tuesday like and then all week going like, and like I was like, "No, what? I'm sick and tired of the bookies threatening me. Like I'm weak. I, I make a hundred grand a year at UPS and I'm in a a studio apartment. You know what I mean? Like yeah. just like getting arrested all the time. Like just burning money. And what were you getting arrested for? Drug stuff." Yeah, fighting, yeah. drugs, DUI, yeah. uh, gotcha. and just Matt Barron ba- special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you just get wrong place, wrong time. Like getting arrested at this girl's school in Connecticut, a Commonwealth, Ooh. thirty-five thousand, getting assaulted, and then I defend myself. Ten grand for a criminal lawyer, it went away. But then he sued me in the bar, thirty-five for a civil. It's like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's like, and then I'm working thirteen hours a day to not even have anything. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put my ringer on. I'm gonna answer every call. People. When you're selling Coke, seven, nine, eleven, yeah. and you're watching these people's nights unfold, like in the next day, yeah. like I, you remember it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hold on, if I'm not doing it all weekend, hey, I'm feeling better, I'm stacking money, you know what I mean? I'm getting yeah. out of this hole, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it again this week. I want to make, you can make good money, <laughs> like when you're not doing it, like yeah. I said, and answer religiously every call. Get out of bed, I don't care. Go and 
make the sale. Yeah. And I just, I was like, then I was like, no, I'm feeling good. I'm like, no, I'm going to miss the Super Bowl, not drink, which is a religion. You know, that's yeah. just yeah. a holiday. I mean, you know what yeah, I mean? Mets opening day, holiday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like You didn't drink through those two. Then you went for your friend's wedding, and then you've been sober since and I then. And we got there without the Coke waiting for us. Yeah. And I never do drinking and Coke I'm without the Coke because I'm going to be an asshole. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you drinking, when I'm watching you drink that whiskey, I'm like, this guy has some something built inside him that he's not. <laughs> I never seen with a black guy this like when you and you drink uh, your whiskey fought, guy. I I'm a whiskey guy. I haven't fought in a while, but growing up, I got in a lot of fights. But no, but just the whiskey would turn like. How does it not yeah. go from zero to two thousand really quick? Like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot better now because I got in a lot of fights when I was younger, and I think it was just. Um, and it's, well, once I started doing comedy, just uh, I mean, I was around wrestlers, and we were getting in fights. Around comedians, no one's getting in fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if there's like any issues I ever have with someone in comedy, I just like hear from someone else. Oh, this person was talking shit about you. Yeah, that's and what you got to deal with. You know? Yeah, it's all like this, like behind your back, like uh, slimy two face stuff. I'd rather you punch then, me. <laughs> yeah, just hit me. Um, yeah. But also, everyone in comedy, how you know what they look like? Who, which are them are gonna hit me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, so now I'm you're just, a bully. Yeah. So I, exactly, if they hit me and I hit back and I knock them out, I'm the asshole. Hey, listen, I got sued for that. Yeah. It cost me 35, 45. Yeah. With the, uh, yeah. But also, you know, when I was like 22 and someone in a bar would th- say, "Oh, you're a fake wrestler," and hit me, and I hit him back, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, now I'll drink whiskey. I'm also, I'm always, I'm more of a happy drunk. I, I. Maybe my childhood uh, trauma of yeah. being left at the junction it comes out, but I don't. I, yeah, but, I don't but really me get, with the coke. Yeah. That's, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I've I've only done coke a little bit, and I've just done like key bombs, so I haven't done like enough uh, yeah, yeah. to get really crazy on it. But yeah, I think uh, I think you want Finnegan. That? Finnegan's going. <laughs> now it's just Kelly's coming home. Uh, I think my normal disposition is like even like as a kid, I was like I was always really nice. And then felt like I got taken advantage of. So, and I had my rebellious phase when I started getting in fights. But I think my normal state is to be like nice and friendly. So when I get drunk, it makes you more yourself. I just start. I think I text. I, te- I just text my yeah. friends like super. I was texting Joe like I'm so happy we do a podcast together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's I was yeah. on stage. And I was like, hey, everyone, look at this faggot. Here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wisconsin, what are you, my gay friend? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what a gay person is out here. This time. <laughs> we call him a fat. <laughs> kill him, kill him. Yeah, I think I actually got in more fights in my life sober than drunk. Uh oh. Because when I was drunk, I was more likely to be like, ah, he probably didn't mean it. But when uh, I'm sober, I'm like, this guy's trying to do something. I'm ready to fight back. I gotta just, protect these women. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting in Rockway, it was like every Christmas Eve versus like the O'Hanlon brothers. Like yeah. it just we didn't want it, but we ended up at the Irish Circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the Farrell boys versus the O'Hanlon brothers. And like yep. they always woke up with black eyes on Christmas because yeah. me and my brother would lace them up. <laughs> yeah. But and listen, I'm not an angry person. I guess it sometimes and uh, some of my exes might be like, hey, don't drink liquor or whatever. Yeah. But like the Coke and balanced me out so much. And I mean a lot of Coke. Doesn't matter. Like and I would be drinking 16 ounce vodka drinks, one sip, grabbing two white. My friend would give me a white Russian in the pitcher so he can stop making them for me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so now I'm drinking them out of a pitcher. Like, and I needed that because the milk, would pro- I'm not eating that much because I'm drinking so much and doing yeah. Coke. The milk and the protein would coat my belly. It was like a strategic, strategic yeah, yeah. drink. Yeah. You know? like, I'm going to still get my drink on, but also, you know, we need some fuel for the stomach. Yeah. You know, I got to also, whatever. Yeah. Well, that was also <laughs> the thing, like, being around wrestlers was like, if one of them's getting, if one of my boys is getting in a fight with someone, I'm in a fight too. Yeah. 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 And that's the, in comedy, none of my boys in comedy are getting in fights, really. Nobody's <laughs> ever gotten in a fight. Yeah. So that's a lot of the fights I would get in was because, like, one of my boys was in a fight, and well, then I'm going to have their back. There was that one time at Comedy Fight Club where, like, there was, like, you had to throw out, like, a drunk dude. Yeah. I threw That I've, was about as close as it gets. I've escorted people. Well, I also worked security for years. So I had, I worked security. Yeah. Like music festivals, a strip club, and all. So I had to like physically remove people. I don't really count those. As some guy, like yeah. some guy at Comedy Fight Club, stood up and said, "Like I'm gonna kill this uh, confirmed pedophile, Bobby Sheehan." <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Matt Marin had to be like, "It's a bit. It's just a fucking bit." And then he clotheslined him and threw him out. It was incredible. Dude. And I learned the power of a fucking lie. Yeah. And I. <laughs> And I promise to never do it again, dude. Yes. And to only to only use my power to help people, not maybe yeah. get them beat up. 
Yeah, that no, was wild. I, I think um, at that well because I got in so many fights and drank so much and like had like uh, was doing that life for so long. Then once I got out of it and was in comedy enough. It was, like, such a thing of, like, I just don't ever want it. I mean, I got lucky that I never got, like, really fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. You're in a fight with someone, someone's boys jump in. Like, Can I you imagine yeah. that? Matt, Matt could have gone away for killing several people. <laughs> <laughs> instead of just one. Thank God, dude. Yeah. Or Thank God it never got to that level. Prison you ever, jumpsuit. Yeah. yeah. You ever see... <laughs> You ever you ever see yeah you ever see Con Air where Nicolas Cage got arrested even though he was defending his wife but he was so lethally trained that he was technically a lethal weapon himself mm. which is why he would go to prison that would be yeah. Matt <laughs> that would be Matt like well I'm actually not a rapist or a criminal mastermind I'm just a I was arrested because I was too much of a nice guy <laughs> yeah sorry when you're the sleeveless wonder of the world your arms are legally registered as weapons. <laughs> Um, nice, Maddie. But yeah, no, it's um, yeah, I I I don't know. I mean, I also saw a lot of times fighting as I got older as like a matter of fact. And like, if someone hits me, I will hit them back. Like, it's more of a um, yeah. uh, but if I'm drunk, I would be like, ah, fucking, I don't, I don't want to do deal with this. I but. remember like Matt would like after shows, like he would like down whiskey at the bar, and he'd go up to a guy and be like, "There's gonna be two hits going on. I hit you." <laughs> And then you hit the floor. <laughs> and the guy said, what? And then Matt would just, like, fucking wail on the <laughs> It was incredible, dude. You see, Joe's learned his lesson about lying. <laughs> I did actually, I remember being in the, when I was wrestling as, like, the villain, I remember telling a guy in the, I would, like, just, sh the fans would yell. Yeah. I would, like, shit on the fans. I remember telling a guy, I knew that line. So I had a man, I said it was going to be three hits. Uh, I hit you, you hit the floor, and then I hit your girl from the back. Uh, <laughs> dude. He was uh, not and then the happy. Guy, and then the guy goes, that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and then Matt goes, even better. <laughs> <laughs> happy bat mitzvah. <laughs> a bat mitzvah is the Jewish female. Uh, female bat mitzvah. Of age, yeah. when, a woman be when a girl yeah. becomes a woman. Yeah. See, dude, I know all about your goofy little culture, yeah. dude. <laughs> like, Were you religious at all when you went to the Catholic school? Did you uh, grow up? Were you I, raised I religious? CCD, which was like the Wednesday shit, yeah. they, to become a, you need that for the uh, confirmation and yeah. communion. And I hated that day because I'd come home from school, get my ass kicked from public school, go there, and then get in trouble by this cocksucker brother Thomas, and yeah. then come home on Wednesday and get two beatings. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Dude. Like, so it was like, I was like this cocksucker, like brother Thomas. It was, it was St. Thomas Aquinas on Flappish, just a cunt of a human. Yeah. 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 There you go. We were looking for teachers he didn't like. Yeah, <laughs> Let's look him up and see how he's doing. Now. I'm glad, dude. I bet if I had to go to a fucking college school, I definitely would have fucking brought a gun. <laughs> like, oh. I hated regular fucking in school but like to throw in like a religious shit i don't even like on top of shit i don't like yeah i gotta fucking shoot my way out <laughs> no, no it's funny <laughs> it was in elmhurst the catholic school yeah and i was i love basketball i was trying out for the team i'm like this is a no-brainer you know yeah. what i mean public school kid on yeah. a catholic school team suicides running up the stairs like one of the worst workouts is to like one of the first uh to get on the team and i'm like just out of breath, just but I'm I'm pushing. Yeah. Mr. Fogarty, big dickhead math teacher. He's like, yeah. oh, come here, Farrell. He goes, you can't play. You failed six classes. And I was like, what? And like I was just the, out of breath, but the punch in the stomach. Like, yeah. What What am I doing here? I can't yeah. even play basketball. And Herman Sp Smorts was across the street. I went there and I tried buying not a regular real gun. This is pre Columbine. But I tried yeah. buying like a BB gun. I just wanted to shoot and something like a you squirrel or a bird. Right. Oh, yeah. And like yeah. they wouldn't sell it to me. And I was just so angry. Like I just wanted something to kill something. Like yeah. and like I I think about it now. Like I was like two years ahead of Columbine, thinking about just yeah. You could have been a trailblazer, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know. All these open mics, I would have been famous already. Yeah. You could have been there. It's like, hey, how's it going? Yes, I'm the coolest guy ever. I invented a school shooting. Yeah, you'd have a TV credit for sure. Yeah. Um, you probably would have like changed like the flavor. It would have been like because like the problem with the Columbine guys were like they were such like little fucking dorky incels. Yeah. Imagine if a cool guy like yeah. Big T had shot yeah. up a school. Well, they'd they be like, like the coolest yeah. thing ever, dude. It'd be like the new. It'd be like the new motorcycle leather jacket move at school. Well, know? they were blaming the Marilyn Manson. Who would they would they have blamed like Pearl Jam? If yeah, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, any better, uh, than, uh, interview, any better on 2020? <laughs> I'm singing that song as I'm shooting people. 
Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Shooting people's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a skit. Like yeah. the cool guy that goes up, he's smoking a cigarette. Pow, the cool guy, the school sh- the cool guy <laughs> school shooter. Yeah, a fucking comedian the, the has a fucking jacket. gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is that prop comedy? You tell him. <laughs> you tell him it's prop comedy. Yeah, the jock who shoots up the school. Hell yeah, dude. That would be a fun <laughs> skit. <laughs> I had so much pussy, I couldn't tell who gave me herpes. Yeah. Everyone's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> God damn. All right. So uh, at the end of each episode, we do um, for the Buff Boys, we find a feat of strength uh, to riff on for the end of the episode. And um, so for this week, I found an article that was eight most impressive feats of strength by Hollywood actors. So it's not quite like bodybuilding no, records, no, but some of these are pretty surprising. The first one, I did not realize Jim Parsons, the guy who does Sheldon on Big Bang Theory, the main guy. He's done a f- one arm 400 pound sled pull. What? Yeah. And a 725 pound sled push with two hands. No, he hasn't. Yeah. There's Is that videos. the video of him? Yeah. Is he on juice? I don't know. He's got like a rock climbing body. I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. That's not too hard. 425 pounds? Yeah. With that's one like arm? half my size. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it no and problem. Back. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that no problem. That's fucking easy. Yeah. All right. So we got Jim Parsons. Then Henry Cavill, Superman, uh, mm-hmm. 435 pound deadlift. Uh, I've, as I've explained, that is nowhere even near. My fucking max. <laughs> right. What about you, Big so. T? You've been doing deadlift, and what are you working with? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't tell me the different he colors. Tell you <laughs> <laughs> that is, I just want to chew on them. They, they, it's like yeah. the weights that. Oh look, yeah, they look, look like the casino colorful chips. One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've seen those. I don't know. I just want to like, ignore on them. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I feel like the ones that are like those like black ones that seem like so worn out and damp. Like the more worn out a weight is, the more I feel like it weighs. Yeah, somehow. for some reason it's yeah. like in my head, like the ropes for the cables. When you do the thing with the ropes, when there's the one that is like brand new, or the one with all the frilly little strings hanging from it, I'm like, <laughs> the one with the frilly strings is the one that's gonna give me a real workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one that's been used. Yeah. Yeah. If it's too clean, it's probably not a real workout. Or you probably can't get good use out of yeah. it. Yeah. Kate Upton, 200 pound hip thrusts. That's Ooh. easy. That, again, that's easy. Um, I feel like I could do a 200-pound hip thrust, but Kate oh, Upton yeah. doing it. Yeah, well, you impressive. easily could because you have sex with men, so it's nothing outside <laughs> of your own. I was like, oh, 200 pound, so she wouldn't be able to push it. I'm like, no, no, you can't say that. No. Wouldn't they be, yeah, what's that? <laughs> like, if I was, like, banging it, like, you know, you're not too much. You're more. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's, that's how I was equating. If I was yeah. on top of her, if you were on top, yeah. <laughs> and like, I, left, and let's yeah. say my sleep apnea kicked in and I fell asleep. Would she be able to escape? Yeah, that's, that's what I was true. <laughs> Not escape like Kramer when she, the girl fell asleep yeah. on top. Yeah, two hundred pound hip <laughs> thrust. I'm wondering if she's repping this for a lot. She how much you weigh? Three and change. You're oh you're over three. Yeah, and I right. hide it well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's well. rep, if she's rep it like doing a lot of reps on two hundred, she might be able to get one rep but on those, three. But those those thr- oh that's so hot when you do that thrust. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. not not uh, victimized. Uh, it's beautiful. I love women. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I'm not apologetic for my love for the female race. About, I bring them up yeah. as I go down. Yeah. They need to have Star Wars like this woman does like a 400-pound squat and then like a little turd plops out. Yeah. <laughs> that happens when you yeah. fall. Oh, like, that's the way to do it. We got a Jason Statham doing the human flag. You ever see that? I've seen that before. Yeah, the human flag where you can like lift your entire body up completely horizontal oh, to yeah. the ground. There you go. That's, that's, that's easy. It's easy also. Jason Momoa. What's that fat fuck one? <laughs> two, two reps of 88-pound weighted pull-ups. That's nothing. What is this? <laughs> this is boring, dude. Yeah. I could do what all about of Fluke this. Human? Fluke Human, <laughs> he, can do, he can do a human flag. He does he can do insane everything. things. Yeah. Kevin Hart, three reps on a 225-pound bench press at 150-pound body weight. That's impressive. No, that's what me. That's what I do. Oh yeah, and you're you're also five four. Uh huh. You are the same height <laughs> as Kevin Hart. And I am fucking more muscular than him. It's like crazy to think like I have fifty more pounds of muscle than him. Yeah. <laughs> John Cena, three hundred and four pound snatch. Oh, pull that up. Pull that video up. Yeah. Here we go. We got the video. Kate Upton's got a pretty impressive what? snatch too. I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, there's just a weight in the air and nobody <laughs> under it. It's crazy. Um, and hold on, let's see what else we got after the uh, three hundred. 40 pound, 304 pound snatch, and then our last Hollywood feat of strength. Hugh Jackman joins the 1,000 pound club. 
That's, that's when you weigh 1,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> When you, you can have sex with one thousand pounds of woman, yes, <laughs> oh, actually, man. oh, all together. If you added the weight of all the women you've been with, do you think you're in the thousand pound? Club? I could do yeah, like dude, probably you know, three four, of them. Of <laughs> 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 Big team dancing with three. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in the thousand pound club. Yeah, dude. Anyone yeah. that's had Easy. sex with more than ten women probably is in the thousand pound club. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Matt, how much do you think a thousand pounds weighs? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm in the thousand pound club too. Um, mm. Hugh Jackman. Um, oh, and you haven't been with a huge bitch? Um, <laughs> Uh, like one, like twice. There's two like big girls I've been with. Like, nice. My size? Um, no, not over three. I think um, <laughs> there was one of them was like short, so she was didn't weigh as much as me, but she was like big. Yeah, it was a lot. And there was another girl who was like about my height and like twice my weight. Sometimes it was fun. There was this one big girl that used to always bang, and I'm like, man, I wish it was like popular to like go out with her. I wish she was, was like yeah. fun. <laughs> No, she was like um, the it's one. Up to say, but it was yeah, like, I, I wish, I, I, wish I could show myself in public with you. <laughs> no, this was it was just like a hookup. It was after a wrestling show. She was like, she was hitting on me, and all the other wrestlers to like fuck with me were telling her he's really into you. <laughs> and uh, she had a pretty face, so it was. I mean, it was fun. It was fine, but it was more of um, I don't know. I don't want to say it was a pity fuck. That's like it wasn't that. Listen, it takes a real man to pleasure a big girl. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and, and to do the job. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, not yeah. just go, come, go. Yeah. Now I want to show her, show her a magical night. Like, yeah. give her something. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I did that a lot. You know? Yeah, so, you've done that ooh. a lot. <laughs> no, not a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, but I, I'm not, yo, listen, I hate one of my pet peeves. Like, oh, would you bang? Oh, I don't know. I was going to point to the cat, but like, a, like but a, a chick, a big chick. Oh, no, no, no. So, so you'd rather go home and jerk off than practice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you see big girls as practice? Any girl that you don't really <laughs> like is practice for the one that you really love yeah. and you want to just fucking really ram What's it. What's the full, like, big T romantic? Like, you had a girl you really like. What's the date? What's the night look like? <sighs> Outback. <laughs> <laughs> I had this one smoking hot chick. She loved Outback. Yeah. And the chocolate thunder from down under. It was like yeah. the best because I love Outback. The blooming onion. Yeah, it was just. No, but just. Uh, I got my spots. Michael's in Brooklyn. A little Italian. Yeah. You know? Okay. Uh, and then just. You go home and you just. Whatever you have in store for the TV. It's five minutes. And then the action. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and then. What's just, the what's the big T move for what you put on the TV? I usually offer for them, mate. Well, THC TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, one, no, no one's funny. Know how much of a degenerate gambler I am? Back in the day, remember when, we, like, in the 2000s? You know, like, college basketball? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, like, sex tapes were in. Everyone, when we first got cameras oh, on our yeah, phone, consensually. Yeah. You know, right. like Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton. It was yeah. the whole thing. I had plenty. I still have phones and cameras with it. Yeah, and I, yeah. like, would fucking, sometimes when you're on coke, you 20 hours of whacking off and yeah. like you need something and, oh i got this camera of me doing it yeah. and then in multiple videos joe buck calling like the giant game calling <laughs> oh david wright hits one back a met game another call joe buck was in multiple <laughs> sex tapes of mine <laughs> from there i'm fucking her on the couch i got a paul a going it's the oh, fourth yeah. quarter <laughs> but i'm fucking horny right now and like <laughs> this is the sequel to uncut gems that we need <laughs> <laughs> that's like a movie where it's like oh you're you're under arrest for statutory rape and you're like i can actually prove that that woman is of age because i have proof that a baseball game happened yeah, yeah. Or like when, where yeah, yeah. The Mets or, world yeah. series 17 yeah, yeah. How old, when were you born yeah uh, 80. where were you on the night of, where were you on the night of this like wait, that, was that the night that the mets were in the world series yes. against the royals i actually know exactly where i was i have video evidence <laughs> wow you're really giving it to him like i know <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, uh, well, it was a different era. Yeah. <laughs> Simpler times. Simpler times. <laughs> Fucking yeah. last chance high, delivering pizza, smoking mm. weed. Like, yeah. I, I see pizza gigs now, and I'm like, I want to just go and sign up. Like, yo, I'll deliver some pizza tonight. Because yeah. it's fun. <laughs> I don't know. You listen to the radio. You yeah. Some friends hop in. We smoke some weed. Go sell it as we're delivering yeah, pizza. Yeah, you like, got bit. You said you worked UPS also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there was no 
scenario in this world where you weren't going to be driving a truck in some way for a living. You know? it's, uh, it's funny. Calling like, in to sports talk radio shows. I used to Have do you that had, Yeah. Bro, I, when I was in the truck, ESPN just started. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would call up. They changed the rules. I would call. Oh, wait, we're having a contest coming up. I was three. They'd hang up. I was. I'd call right back six. Then oh, nine. you try and be the whatever yeah. caller. Yeah. I, I won Jets home open a season tickets. Yankee memorabilia. Uh, I, I got I almost got arrested at this Black History Month forum with, <laughs> with <laughs> Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith, uh, Michael, or someone else at the ESPN zone. <laughs> shit cocked and just harassing the bartender. And then the cops were called and like, like, like fucking. Oh, you like won tickets to the thing. I would. I would win everything. I won. Uh, like just Nick home open is like three years in a row. You got to see Stephen A. Smith live though. Yeah, yeah, and like it was like these cool. We were front row in these leather couches, steak. But I was bombed when I was there. You know what I mean? Like uh, I'm trying to remember the other shit I won. But then I would call up uh, and just make jokes, like talking to uh, Brandon Tierney when he used to be on uh, ESPN yeah, like lunchtime. Yeah. I was like, just, you know, like, fucking, uh, like, yeah, this guy, Manaya, the trading deadline comes and goes. He's sitting yeah. on his hands, no trades. Yeah. We got a lot of holes yeah. to fill. What are we running, a baseball team or a whole house? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, easy, Big T in the brown truck or whatever. Like, I used to tell him, like, yeah, Big T in the truck. Well, you, you would call it as Big T? Yeah. That's and the, amazing. Because they the, always, when you listen to the radio, they're always like, uh, we got Joe from Queens here or Matt from Long Island and Big T from Rockaway. <laughs> oh, in the brown <laughs> truck. guys, it, Big T in the brown truck yeah, was yeah. Nah. <laughs> and yeah there were guys, the guys would there would be certain characters who like the radio announced like uh, Mike and the Mad Dog had there were regular callers mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, in the brown truck they Hell changed yeah. the rules to every 30 days of winning because I was winning no it was the beginning of the radio station I'm in the truck yeah. 12 hours a day yeah and I won the uh, Jets season tickets when I sold for like five hundred dollars. I don't even like the Jets. I know you're a Jet fan. No, I'm. A, oh no, I'm Cowboys. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I'm know why New York I know sports and everything but football. Um, yeah. And then I said my brother's name with my friend's address, and they nice. must have said it on the air. Like maybe when I was in the building uh, making delivery, and my brother was trying to call up. He's so burning. My, my friend Lennon was like, "Yo, you won! I heard it on the radio." It's yeah. like me using his fucking name. <laughs> but it was fun, man. It was fun. I would just be, and then I'd do the deliveries and like, yo, man, remember you telling me that story? Like backing into loading docks, like the workers there, like, yo, you inspired me, man. I won Mary J. Blige tickets. My cousin uh, went hot. <laughs> he won Summer Jam tickets and took me because I was telling people I was winning. You know, yeah. It started. I used to uh, in the Sunday paper in the middle of the newsday. It was like this thin magazine, and it was like this lady. She would just sign up for every contest and would win cars, all promotional shit. She was just put your name in everything. Yeah. And I remember that since I was a kid, and I was at the Beer distributor in Ozone Park, waiting online. Like, hurry up, shithead! This fucking retard in front of me, and it was like Moosehead beer. So I ah, fill it out quick. Some weird numbers call me a month later. Hey, you won lobster gram from Moosehead beer, and it was my first win. Was that online? Yeah. And I got lobster for free from waiting online with Moosehead beer. And fucking, Incredible. I just ever ever since then, I just always. Call and in. now, but now it's like with the email and this, it's a different game. You know, it was innocent really, back then. Yeah, you, you know? can't really do it anymore. <sighs> they just want your info to sell the cookies or whatever the fuck yeah. they're doing. Do they still do those giveaways on the radio? I feel like they do. I'm so, like, even some of the people you were naming, like, I'm so just comedy in my own world now. Like, yeah. I don't even know some of these people. I don't know. If it's on not on radio anymore. If it's not on TikTok, I don't care. Uh, you're, yeah. you're on TikTok now, right? I'm obsessed with that shit. Yeah. But I don't like anything. I try not to. Yeah. And let the algorithm work for me, and it's unique. It's whatever yeah. I'm gonna, like. I like life, I like I like my friends stuff, and then I like that like, and then I'll like that because I want to like help my friends get boosts. I the know I do that also. everywhere else. I, I don't yeah. mind liking everything, but but, I, but yeah. my you, my algorithm's perfect, and if I keep adding my input as a human, yeah. it's gonna fuck it up and make it my Instagram. I feel like what I'll yeah. do is also, <laughs> yeah, you know, the thing I'll do also I'll if I watch a full video, they can tell you watch the full video, nope. so they just see mine is it's all like sports highlights. I'll get some of my friends stuff. Um, I got a lot of workout stuff and just people with Down syndrome dancing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of my hits. Matt posted a video of him dancing one time. <laughs> he stitches it on the yeah. other side. <laughs> and, and they're like, okay, here it is. Yeah. I'm on uh, black people with matted hair getting cleaned at the salon. I oh, love yikes. It. I love it. Just like they'll go yeah. in like big either Rastafarian or yeah, just matted yeah. hair. Yeah. And it's just the process and the cleaning. And I love the watching the different steps of cleaning the hair and they, 
fucking straighten them up nice. I, like, it's a weird yeah. thing to be watching, but I watched it enough that I get them now. Yeah. <laughs> and that, like, van life or whatever else. Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a video, like, to all my comedy friends, like, I support you guys, I love you, I... You don't have to ask me to like anything. I'm going to like it, but just not on TikTok. I don't want. I, I was yeah. going to make a video and pin it so people may see me like, looked at it, but not like it. It's like, yeah. I can't, I'm trying to keep my algorithm you gotta keep pure. your algorithm the way you want. <laughs> then I have nothing. I don't have TikTok. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Grown ass man over here. Damn. What a fun episode. Thank you uh, for joining us. Oh. Where, where can people find you? Um, <laughs> Rockaway. <laughs> 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 Call me. Uh, uh, big Tits. Big pics on Instagram oh, yeah. and uh, everything Big T on YouTube. And yeah, I've been getting on some shows. Oh, Fight Club. Yeah. Uh, streaming. Oh, yeah. Big tonight. T's on Fight. Yeah. The um, By the time this episode's out, you can watch the episode uh, on Fight Club. Big T went against Daniel Parafan. Yeah. Yikes. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But yeah. Man. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I'm thanks sure, for having and, me, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you for doing that. We'll see you guys next time. Stick around for the Patreon.